Hey everybody, this is Nicole. So uh, this is the last video. I've been uh, batch uh, filming. And so if you see me in the same outfit, that's the reason why. So um, today we are going to be uh, going through some happy mail that I got from my bestie, Thris. So um, I'm telling you this now. Um, we don't expect any backlash or nonsense from anybody about this. Uh, Thris and I uh, have a very close relationship. She and I are, um, I think, by far one of the closest friends I've had in a very long time. Uh, and she and I have uh, exchanged uh several boxes of gifts and these items were collected over a long period of time so i think we're talking like before thanksgiving so it's just that um i've already sent her stuff to her it's just that it's taking a little bit longer because it's coming from hawaii um so uh i don't i expect uh the same from you as well to her that what I what I sent to her was something were things that had been collected over a very long period of time so um honestly if you have a problem with it I really don't care um I sent all of it because I wanted to and it was stuff that um, you know, like I said, it was sent from even before Thanksgiving and I think I sent everything like a couple of weeks ago. And like I said, I don't think it's reached her. I, I know it hasn't reached her yet because, um, postage was expensive. Um, so, uh, because the boxes were heavy and anyhow, uh, I want to share with you what she sent me and I want to make it clear that um, I don't care uh, what anybody says um, as far as what she has sent to me because it is what she sent to me because she cares about me and it makes me happy and I don't normally get a lot of things and um, I thank her a lot for all of the things that she has gotten for me. So um, for those of you who have not um, seen any of my other videos, my name is Nicole. If I've shown up as a recommended for you on uh, your uh, feed, my name is Nicole and this is my channel. Um, we talk about yarn, we do yarn hauls, I open mystery boxes, which is my favorite thing. Um, and my cat is driving me nuts because she is sitting on all my paper bags that I put my recycling in um, and smashing them and ripping some of them. Anyhow, um, we also talk about mental health. Um, we talk about uh, self-care and also about chronic pain, chronic illness, and how all of these things tie in uh, together. And that art therapy, like crochet and knitting and all that stuff, help people cope uh, when they have uh, to deal with chronic pain and uh, chronic illnesses because they both affect um, oneself a lot. And uh, until you, uh, you know, until you experience it, um, it's tough to really understand. And that's why I have this channel. It's to um, educate people. And uh, so yeah, uh, so we're gonna we're gonna see what Thris has sent to me, and I am super excited. Um, because like I said, uh, I don't, I never expect anything from anybody. I am always shocked when people send me things because I don't ever think that I deserve a single thing, nothing. I know it, it's, 
it's never the thing that's on my mind that I think that people should be sending me stuff. Um, and then the other thing too is, is that just to let you know, I have been approved um, by YouTube. I am officially monetized. I think I'm waiting for a pin number or something like that. Um, but the monetization is going to be able to help me give back to the community by doing giveaways and paying for postage and stuff like that. It's, it's in no way whatsoever to make me rich in any sort of way. I have no illusions whatsoever when it comes to that. So here we go. We're gonna see what she sent me because she sent me um, a lot of stuff and um, I am super, super excited. So, um, let's see. All right. So first thing I see is, ooh, yay. Uh, she sent me some ice yarn and I love it. I love this lime green color. So it's lime green and it looks like we've got a little bit of white and black. Um... And it is three weight. It's 30% wool, 70% acrylic. Um, let's see if I can find a colorway. Made in Turkey. And, you know, I don't, I don't. I've never actually bought ice yarn. I've gotten ice yarn, but I've never actually bought ice yarn. Um, but I love this. It's super, super soft. Um, I can see myself making something out of this. Um, and I'm trying to see if there's a color or a color number. And I don't see one, but it, like I, I took it out of the package. It's beautiful. It's this fun uh, neon green, um, emerald green, and white and black. And I love it. Um, let's see if we can give you. So it is 100 grams or 250 meters. And I love it. And you, you guys know me. Um, I think every color has its place um, when it comes to making things. So I don't ever feel like, ooh, I hate that yarn. I think every color has a spot in um, what you know, whatever it is that you might be making. And so um, maybe you know, it's it's all about looking outside of your wheelhouse. So. Uh, that's what I like to do, especially when it comes to um, my mystery boxes. I like to, you know, give people things that maybe they like or they don't like, or maybe they not necessarily don't like, but maybe that is outside of what they're normally used to using because then it makes them think, hmm, maybe if I add it with this, then it somehow makes the whole entire project pop. It gives it something, you know what I mean? So, all right, so this one, it is, um, this is Waltrum. Okay, I've gotten Waltrum, so, and I've gotten the small cakes. I have not gotten, the, this is a massive cake, wow. Okay, so this is, is a, it's got black a black center, and then it goes to like a royal purple and then like a, a grape uh, color. And um, it says My Melody Big and it's uh, Black Magic Women. And it's 50% uh, um, balm wool, 50% polyacrylic. Um, and then it's 950 meters or 500 grams. Um, let me see if it tells me what, what it ripped. Oh no. 
Okay. It's so big that the label doesn't stay. But this is gorgeous. Okay. Next. My favorite. Gnarl. Okay, so this one is 100% wool. And I love Gnarl because... Uh, what you always see on the outside isn't always what you see on the inside. So this one is called Kureon and it's um, a royal purple. And what I like is, as you can see, there's black and some green. And uh, um, some turquoise there. Royal purple. Let's see if we, what we've got in the center. And then uh, this fuchsia here. I love it. Um, and it's 50 grams or 100 meters. Color number 90. And you know Noro doesn't have color uh, colorways. They're, they do color numbers. So that's a 90. Um, Tris, where am I going to hide all this yarn? Where am I going to hide it? I don't know where I'm going to hide it. I'm going to have to like smush it back in the box and then pretend like I've always had it, right? Okay, so next, um, Yarn B. Ooh, Yarn B. I love Yarn B, even though, um, we don't have, um, is this... So does this come from Joanne or does this come from Michaels? I think it's Joanne. Anyway, so um, it's called Rainbow Rhapsody in Peacock. And it's seven ounces or 918 yards. It's um, a gray center to uh, this I, green and then a i guess it's not really lavender but i guess maybe more of a true purple turquoise um royal purple and then black i love it love it love it love it i have a feeling that this table is going to be like where you won't be able to see me okay so let's see what else do we got here. Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. Okay, so this one is a flowers moonlight, um, a yarn art, and it is got a like a hot pink center, and then a lavender purple gray uh and then the sparkles are like a pinky purple color and it's 53 percent cotton and okay so 43 percent poly acrylic i'm assuming that's what pac is and then four percent uh, metallic polyester which is the sparkly um and it is a thousand meters or a thousand ninety three yards and it is color 3276. Um, she, I believe, crocheted me something. I'm gonna do that one last. And then I got another yarn art. This one is the Flowers Alpaca. And it is, um, this grape purple and um, then it changes to like gray then an aqua and then to um, this purpley blue color and it's 20% alpaca and 80% acrylic um, and it's 940 meters or 1027 yards and it is a number two fine and it is 433 uh color number 433 so i love 
um, yarn art. Um, who am I kidding? I love all the yarn. Um, let's see what else we got here. All right, now, oh, I like this. I love this Lion Brand Com Comfy Cotton Blend. So, um, this one is, so it's got all these gorgeous blue colors. It's got um, a navy blue. It's got aqua. It's got um, turquoise. And so it is 392 yards or 358 meters. It's 50% cotton and 50% polyester. It's a three light and it's called Ocean Breeze. You can see there. So this video is going to be on the longer side. So I'll, I hope you'll stick around to see everything. Please stick around to see everything. Okay, so, um, hold on one second, okay? Oops. I just want to make sure that I didn't miss something. Um, okay, so she sent me two skeins of this uh, boho spirit um, by uh, Signet, I believe is what it is. Uh, color is sapphire. She knows that I love blue. It's this gorgeous like um, ocean blue with black. It, this reminds me of Carnival. Um, Hobie's Carnival. I don't know what the colorway is called, but they have something I think similar to this. So, like I said, it's so it's got this um, like turquoise, black or gray, and then black, and then uh, sapphire color. So it's aptly named sapphire. So. Uh, uh, I got a question for you guys. Do you ever wonder like sometimes how these yarn companies come up with the names? Cause sometimes it's like, where did you come up with that name? Because it doesn't even make any sense. So, okay. So now, um, I've got two skeins and I think those are the same. Yep. So these ones are style craft cabaret double knitting um i've heard of style craft and this one is also reminds me of carnival um uh hobie and it's nice and sparkly with a purple um sparkle thread through there and it is called purple haze um and it's 98 premium acrylic and two percent polyester i'm assuming the polyester is the the sparkle so it's um this lavender gray dark gray and then the royal purple um so she sent me two skeins i think this and this together would be great like i could probably even this mandala like a massive mandala that's like my thing right i'm like obsessed with mandalas right now okay and she sent me another noro which looks like i think it's the same thing as this one let me check yeah so these are the same so she sent me two of the same this is color number 90 And then, I 
I really like this cabaret. I mean, wow. The sparkle. So, okay, so this one is, um, it's white. Um, this smoky gray color. And then this deep ocean blue. And then um, the thread through it um is like a silver color so it's 100 grams and it's 98 percent premium acrylic and two percent polyester um and it's 100 grams and it is color number or color number 3580 or lagoon um and this uh, this project here says that it's a two ball project so I'm betting that I could probably use this these two skeins to make this uh, shawl here does this have no it does not have a pattern on it okay so let me just put some of these away so that I can put it back in the, into the box. Okay, so then this one, this oh, this is a Kramer yarn. Um, I don't think I've ever uh, gotten Kramer yarns either. This is Perfection Worsted. It's 200 yards um, or 100 grams, 30% wool. It's a merino blend or 70% acrylic. Um, and it's color Sky, it's a four medium. It's this nice, um, dusty blue, I guess you could say. Um, it's not really like a true blue color, but I do really like it. And then I've got, she sent me two more Kramer yarn, uh, worsted. Um, same, uh, same specs. And then this one is called April Showers. So this one is uh, more of a sky blue color. It's a four. So she sent me two of these. And I'm just trying to um, put it back so that um, I can close the box because she sent me so much. Thirsty sent me too much. Okay, so then um, this one, it does not have a band on it. I'm assuming is this is this your yarn or is it I or is this something that you got you're gonna have to jog my memory but either way this is gorgeous it's um a sparkle yarn and it's this emerald green with black purple and uh like aqua and blue um, i'm not going to unhank it but it is absolutely gorgeous um so that is, that is one box. And Andrew did a good job at um, packing, packing everything. So 
Now I just have to get everything back in here. And he put everything in a plastic bag in case it got wet. So that was even better. Hopefully everything, hopefully everything that I sent to you gets to you okay. So again, like I said, oh, she did make something for me. Whoop. I think that's what it is. Hold on, hold on. I think I recognize this yarn. I think this is a Hobie yarn. Is this Metallico? This is gorgeous. There's no way I'd be able to make this. And it's not, it's not black. It's blue, it's this like shiny blue black color. It's beautiful. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Really. I love it. Just let me. Sorry, I'm just trying to maneuver around here. All right, so. Ah, this is another hank of that uh, yarn. It's, I mean, it is so beautiful. The colors are so vibrant, if you can see. And then this reminds me, this reminds me of Sherbert. So it's pink, orange, yellow, uh, baby blue. I love it. And then this nice and squashy pink.
just putting this in this bag here. Okay, so it looks like this is more of, um, this, I'm not kidding. This reminds me of like rainbow sherbet. So, um, this reminds me of rainbow sherbet. So like orange sherbet, um, I've got, there, it's pink, white, um, mint green, and then the same thing with this one, and then um, this one as well, and it's got nice, gorgeous speckles in it. And let me, this is, need to put this back in here so it doesn't get completely unhanged. So I've got these three, which matches with that there. And then, um, I, this I think matches uh, this I had another skein of that and uh, yeah it's the sky color um, and it is Kramer yarns perfectly uh, worsted um, and it's a four medium and um, so many things that I could make with it it's like it's like Christmas I it's like I don't even know what to say thank you so much I I don't I don't deserve any of this okay so oh my gosh okay so this is more ice yarn I love this. Um, so it these are the same color. So it is. Um, so it's got um, like a minty green, sky blue, purple, lavender, uh, and it's a number two fine, and it's hundred percent mercerized cotton. Um, 100 grams or 260 meters. I've got one, two, three, four, eight skeins of this. I mean, I don't, I mean, I don't know what to say. This is more than what I expected. I didn't expect anything. So then this is more ice yarn. Um, so this one is a three uh, light uh, ice yarn and it's 100% acrylic. Um, and it's a beautiful, um, I guess you could say like a, a brick or um, reddish brown color with gray, dark gray, and um, light gray. I don't, I, and I know everybody says, oh, if you, you calculate um, the ice yarn, um, it comes out to be like super affordable, but I, part of me is like, I, I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I haven't ordered from them. So for you thrifts to have ordered it and gotten it for me is just, it's really, this is like super overwhelming for you to have given me so much. And then, I mean, this, I've been wanting this for forever because I don't have um, a yarn um, yarn ball holder and and the fact that it's a prim brand is even more amazing and it's
I'm gonna put this back in the box so that I can put the holder back. But it's a big Sully and so it's got an integrated needle gauge, a yarn spindle, holds cones and cakes of yarn. It's clear so that I can see inside. It's got a swatch ruler. Um and it has six yarn channels so that I can, like if you can see the holes on the top so that I can put the yarn through there. Um, it's got a uh, ball tray so that it keeps multiple balls of yarn separate for color work removes to accommodate large, large skeins. So basically if I want to like work with more multiple strings, strings, if I want to use multiple yarns to make one project, I can, which she and I had been discussing yesterday to make something, I can, um, rather than trying to use my fumbly, fiddly fingers. Um, I don't, I, I don't even know what to say. Um, and then uh, it says, it has a large front slot, allows yarn to unwind smoothly from cones and cakes, non-slip base, and so it grips to all surfaces, surfaces and provides storage for small accessories. So I can, I can even put, oh my God, so I can put all my notions in there. Um, and then soft grip, removable with embossed ruin. I don't deserve any of this. I'm the one that's supposed to give. Okay, so, um, Now I, she sent me two skeins of silky wool and I've never heard of this brand. So it's color number 10, um, made in Italy um, for KFI, 45% wool, 35% silk, and 20% nylon. Let's open it and feel it because it's got silk. So I bet it's super soft. There's so many things like in my head, there's so many things I could make this with. So, and it's color number 10. <laughs> it's 50 grams and 175 uh, meters. Okay, so I ordered um, some cinnamon swirl cakes. Um, I actually wanted to get this color, but I didn't. Um, because I had already ordered too much. So she ordered, this one is, this is the cinnamon swirl. Um, And of course, Michael's 
even though they say that you get free shipping it's only if you live on the mainland so i did not get free shipping i had to pay like 25 dollars for shipping to get the cakes that got lost in the mail if you remember and they got lost in the mail i yeah so anyway so it's 100 percent acrylic it's 80 ounces or or 407 yards and it's a medium number four um this is one of the colors that i wanted but i didn't i didn't order it and then this one is another one that i was going to order but like i had it in my cart and i i didn't get it I don't know why but I didn't because I mean it's blue so I mean why wouldn't I get it but I didn't so it's the Caribbean Sea and then it's medium for eight ounces or 481 yards and this is a blossom cake um, and so like with these Karen cakes these are the first time this is the first time that I've ever gotten any Karen cakes that have ever come out that I've gotten when they've come out brand new. Usually I get Karen cakes that have come out like way later. Okay, so now what is this? What is it? There's no tag. Look at this. There's no tag on it. It's beautiful. It's a dark royal purple and a grape color with the silver um, sparkle in it. It kind of reminds me of the blue heron yarns that I've seen. Um, but I mean, this is beautiful. It's a good thing I have a Swift, right? Okay. Just coming out here. Okay, so these ones I think are all the same. So these ones are Carnival, um, 100% acrylic, 100 grams or 262 yards, and it's color number six. So this one is a, a navy blue with a gray. So I, she sent me, so I've got these two. So she sent me, looks like four, I think I've got five. And then she sent me this one, is this the same? Yeah, it's just that it's, is this the same? Hold on. Yeah, it's the same. It's just that it's um, the way it's all uh, balled up, it's the same, it's just that on the outside, you can see the turquoise, and then it goes to the navy, and then gray, and then light gray. Whereas this one, um, the light gray, or the, the light blue is on the inside, and then it goes to like the royal blue, or and then navy blue and gray. So I've got, Six, six cakes of that. Girl, just, I mean, it's just never, oh my goodness. Okay. Um, and then, oh, I love Darn Gray Yarn. So um, this one, I love this. It's got a really nice grape purple with navy and uh, turquoise. And it's a number three DK weight, and um, it's obviously it's recycled silk just because it is uh, darn good yarn. 
and it's called a dream come perfect 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 name for this color and then look this is my own squishmallow eating ramen it's a shark is it a shark is it is he a shark way is it a shark or is it a stingray i think it look well it looks like a shark to me because my favorite animal is a shark yes call me weird but my favorite animals are sharks and he's eating ramen yummy ramen And then she sent me one, two, three, four of these shade G's, um, which is the soft, soft, fun aquarel, which is, um, it's got this denim look. Um, it's 60% cotton and 40% acrylic. It's a DK weight, which is fantastic. And it's called River Skate. Um, Blah, 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 blah. Let me see if there's anything else here that I can tell you. But I love this because I love shape G's. Um, and of course they have the easy start. Most shape G's has have these uh, easy start regardless if they're cakes or if they're skeins. Um, I don't see any of the yardage or not, but she sent me four of these. And then I got four of these babies. These ones are fun. I love this one. This one has, it's like a aqua color with a, like a pink fuchsia like halo. Um, and it's called Wheaton or color 990 and it's 70% cotton, 30% acrylic, and it's an iron weight. And it's a river washed XL. Squish, squish. I love this. I don't, I don't have any squishmallows. So this is my first squishmallow. Sorry, I'm just gonna, I'm putting away some of the yarn so that it's uh, easier for me to put some of these boxes away. Because Thris went overboard. And she talks about me going overboard. She is so generous. Okay, and then she sent me this, this is fun. Virgo 2023 Astrology. Because yes, I am a Virgo. So February, it says health. You may notice some uncomfortable symptoms while going about your regular activities. Perhaps this is a sign to make changes to your lifestyle. Is a bad habit negatively affecting your health? Hmm. Does that sound vaguely familiar? We're almost done, y'all. I think I have two more boxes to go. Oh, 
pause one second. I will be right back. Okay, we are at the home stretch. And I am really overwhelmed. Thris, I am like literally, my heart is pounding because I don't know what to say. I mean, it's like, I want to burst into tears because nobody ever is ever this nice to me. You and I have had discussions about people who have ditched me and who have said they're my friends and then they, they turn out not to be my friends. So, this is really overwhelming. I've had people, for those of you who may or may not know this, where they've worked with me and have gone out to lunch with me. And then there was the one time we had planned the lunch and uh, I waited for 15 minutes. Nobody showed up. So I called some of the people that were supposed to come and sorry, I need to take a drink because this is making me have like a massive panic attack. This is why I don't make, and I don't really make a huge effort to like put myself out there. Um, so I was at a restaurant and that we were supposed to meet at and after 15 minutes, nobody showed up. So I started calling the people that we were supposed to meet. I was supposed to meet and nobody was answering the phone. Nobody's texting me back. And, um, I waited and I waited. I went into the restaurant and I asked the um, person up front, has anybody come in and said that they were waiting for somebody, you know, i.e. me um, for lunch. And they said no. So I just waited in the restaurant for I think another like 15, 20 minutes or maybe a half an hour and nobody showed up. Um, and so then the next day when it was a work day, I had asked and like, so did I get the day wrong or did you guys forget or whatever? And um, the people that were supposed to meet me for lunch said that, well, actually we, were, we had never intended on coming in the first place um, because we don't actually really like you. It was just all like kind of a ruse. Um, and so from then on, I had decided that I would just keep to myself um, because apparently nobody really actually truly wanted to be friends with me because I must be that much of a horrendous person to not want to be friends with. So um, from that point on, I pretty much just kept to myself at work um, when I was working. Um, and it was, you know, it was just me, my husband and the kids. And that was it. And didn't really have any like real life friends and stuff. And so, um, anything nice that was ever given to me, I would get for myself. Um, I've had my help me forget my birthday um I've had them I mean where you know I wouldn't get anything or like my mom I remember one year completely forgot that it was my birthday um and by the time she realized it, because my birthday's in September, by the time she realized it, it was like in Halloween at that point. And, um, and at that point it was kind of just ridiculously pointless. So, but I have always been the person that gives, I'm, I am, I usually am not the person that gets 
because that's the person that I am. I'm the one that gives and gives and gives. I, I don't get, I don't ever expect anything, anybody to get anything from me. So for me to get anything of any sort is always surprising. So it's just, all of this is truly, truly overwhelming. And now I'm gonna figure, have to figure out where I'm gonna put all of this stuff because it's so much stuff. So anyhow, all right, this is good. This is uh, gonna be a, a longer uh, video. So I hope that you guys stick around. So, all right, so, uh, she got me a resin, uh, electric resin mixer. Thank you. And then this. So she says this is uh, for a backdrop or for the beach. It says it's a beach throw, tablecloth, bed cover up, picnic sheet, or a kid's play mat. Um, so it looks like it's got, uh, it looks like it's got like mandalas on it even. If you can kind of see other the picture. I don't want to open it and try to like figure out how to get it back into the bag. But I love this and it's blue so it's even better. So this one is a big is a big box. And I opened it part of the way just so that since I already knew that it was gonna be sort of a long alarm video. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I've already given away two of these. And now, what have you done? A central. This is, is this the 48 pin one? I'm gonna have to teach myself how to use this. Thank you so much. I know it's not showing, but I am so thankful for all of this. That means so much. Because like I said, I'm usually the one that gives. I don't, I'm not the one that, that gets. I don't. <sighs> you mean so much to me and this, you are an amazing person and don't let anybody else tell you otherwise, Thris. I hope what I have sent to you comes even close to what you have sent to me. I feel like what I have sent to you is like completely in inadequate to what you have sent to me. Really, I mean, so, so completely inadequate. Um, and for those of you who have seen me open this happy mail, um, it truly does make me happy. Um, and honestly, 
I don't normally get this amount of stuff. I mean, really, I don't. I don't get even a quarter of anything because I don't expect anything. So, like I said, this stuff has been collected from before Thanksgiving. If you can believe this, Thrissa and I have been friends for like maybe four or five months and we are so close, it's ridiculous where she lives where sh she lives and I live where I live. And a lot of times I can, I know what she's thinking when she's thinking it and it's weird in a good way to have a friend like that. So I hope all of you can be happy for me and see that she's such a generous and wonderful person and that with all the things that she has gone through over the last couple of months that all of these things that she has sent to me wasn't something that was bought all in one go it was bought over the course of several months so really and truly i don't if anybody has anything to say say it to me if you have a problem with it say it with say it to me because she did this out of the goodness of her heart and i can't ask for anything more than that um and I look forward to so many more years of friendship with her and us talking and uh, watching shows and movies together, you know, over the phone or, you know, um, doing watch parties and stuff like that and doing lives together and whatever it is and, and all of that and, uh, knowing that friendship is is something that's so important and that you should cherish each other through all of this um and it's not about gifts it's about knowing that you have somebody that's there for you and that cares about you and knows that you will be there for 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 them and vice versa and um that they're your family, that uh, to be family doesn't mean you have to be blood related. And that I have a wonderful set of children and a wonderful husband, uh, along with a wonderful, wonderful friend that I really wasn't looking for but who I think the universe knew I needed and gave me and I don't deserve and who has given me so much in my life. So, um, I hope you enjoyed this video uh, and I hope to see you guys at my live and uh, I hope we will have some fun. I will be having a lit uh, craft, quietly crafting here in the next couple of days um, because I'm going to be making my dragon book and uh, I'm looking forward to that because it's going to be something fun and uh, relaxing to do. So uh, until then, I will talk to you guys later. Okay, bye.